Is this an isolated accident or a sign that technology has become a threat to all of us? After what happened today, can we still trust our machines? Today we're looking at Detroit Become Human, an award-winning title from Quantic Dream. Originally released for the PS4 in 2018, it was later released for the Windows PC in 2019. Detroit Become Human is a mix between action and adventure while also being a very cinematic and an emotionally charged branching choose your own path experience. The story takes place in the not so distant future where androids are a part of everyday life. They're your handymen, your child's nanny, construction workers, police force, and do the vast majority of heavy lifting in the workforce. Here you will experience life in Detroit through the eyes of three very different models. This is a single player game with no DLC available, so what you see is what you get, but thankfully there's plenty to see here in Detroit Become Human. System requirements aren't too crazy, but you'll need Windows 10, 64-bit, a quad-core CPU, discrete graphics, and a minimum of 8 gig of memory, along with 55 gigs of available storage. To get the most from the game, you'll want at least a GTX 1060 or RX 580. Check the video description for more detail. Okay. Let's have a look at some of what this game is about. Detroit Become Human is a game that allows you to choose your own path throughout the game. The decisions not only affect the character making them, but on the entire story going forward, and in some cases, deep ramifications. The game features a branching storyline that ensures you truly never have the same experience twice. It even shows you the path you've taken at the end of each chapter in the game. It's quite impressive, really. The game features three main characters whose lives you experience and explore. First up, there's Connor, a prototype RK-800 provided to the police force to help search out deviant androids. Next, we have Kara, a model AX-400 whose primary function is as a family caretaker for a widowed man and his little girl. And finally, Marcus, an RK-200 owned by a wealthy disabled artist who is his assistant, caretaker, and friend. This game is very interactive, especially given the cinematic feel. You'll have to explore your surroundings by moving around, looking at and examining objects. You'll pick up and read magazine articles about local and world news while interacting with doors, drawers, and other items. You'll also interact with the game's host while on the main menu, a nice touch that adds a little extra something to the game. By the way, I'm an ST200 model. I mean, I thought you might be interested to know that. One of the more interesting things you can do is to analyze a crime scene and, and its evidence to reconstruct prior events. You can also perform a similar analysis to find the best course of action at other points in the game. The visual presentation here is really top notch. The animations in most cases are extremely smooth and realistic, and faces are captured with detail and realism. Textures and environments are so full of life and even feel photorealistic in many cases. The cutscenes are also quite good and blend especially well into the game. There's very little, if any, difference between what you see during normal gameplay and that of the cinematic sequences. There may be a few hiccups here and there, but I was very pleased and impressed with the visual experience overall. Connor, the fuck are you doing? Sound effects, similarly to graphics, are very well done. The scenes found throughout the game were full of life and ambiance, bringing forward another level of immersion and realism to the game. Androids are stealing our jobs! Yeah! The music for the three main characters was each created by a different composer and accompanying orchestras, blending in each character's persona with the story and surrounding environment. Music as a whole was extremely well put together and fit very well with the game. Voice acting was all very professionally done. Look, they sent me a piece of plastic for a partner and I'm dealing with it. But if you think we're going to be buddies, you're as stupid as you look. You recognize some of the faces and voices of some popular Hollywood actors such as Lance Henriksen, Clancy Brown, Jesse Williams and Valerie Curry among others. Very well done. My name. The story depicts the lives of the android population, highlighting their treatment and struggles during hard times for the people of Detroit. The game has a well thought out plot that can play out completely different in each play, with a very diverse branching storyline shown at the conclusion of each scene. It's an emotionally charged experience and has a way of sucking you in and wanting you to keep playing into the wee hours of the night. You wouldn't think a story about robots could be this good, but here we are with an excellent story about androids trying to become human. It's hard to try and discuss the story without giving too much away, as this really is a story worth exploring for yourself. The game features two control types. A more complex and demanding control scheme where you need to do more during quick time events and for basic interaction. Alternatively, a simplified version is available to keep things a little more casual. 
I opted for the more complex route, and while having to manipulate several controls at once, it was still fairly easy to control even if things got a little hairy during especially busy scenes. Although this game is very cinematic, it's not just a choose your own adventure. The game is still very engaging, interactive, and entertaining, and puts you in control of the vast majority of exploration and the choices made to advance the storyline. I did what you wanted! A single playthrough should take you just over 10 hours, which isn't really a lot on its own, but considering there's a huge variety in how much the game branches off, and with dozens of possible endings, there's quite a bit of replay value here. There's also a fair bit of additional bonus content that can be unlocked by spending points earned for completing scenes. There's artwork, character galleries, magazines, music, and videos about the making of the game and other related topics. I came into this one with mild expectations, as most games in the genre don't offer up as much interactivity as I would like, but Detroit Become Human not only surpassed my expectations, but blew them away. I'm truly impressed by the game, the story, the graphics, and the sound. All in all, an excellent overall experience. Don't believe me? Give the free demo a try.